This comes after schools complain about the slow disbursement of resources such as books, recruitment of teachers and maintenance concerns. A variety of schools amongst them they appear to have gone up secondary school are struggling to cope as a result of worn out infrastructure which now threatens the well-being and health of the learners and teachers alike. However, Chief Regional Officer in the Orongo region, Natalia Hoha, says is adamant that plans are underway to address such concerns. We are going to also integrate from 1st of February issues pertaining to procurement. There shall be only one economizing committee in our region. Education procurement issues shall be tabled at this one platform. By so doing, we will also bring services quickly, faster to you, and then things will be very much, uh, in terms of delivery, efficient. Through this system, educational, social and capital budgets will be handled separately to allow for better transparency, efficiency and implementation. Meanwhile, she also pleaded with parents to be active participants in the education of their children and refrain from overworking children as this negatively affects their concentration in school. In addition, Regional Director of Education in the region, John Avaseb, expressed concern about the lack of classrooms in the region as well. Whatever we do, whether it yields results, we are proud of our learners, our teachers and our schools and we will work and we will work again to show each and every person, to show our leaders, to show our parents that despite the resources we have or what we don't have, we can perform. Avasip stressed that despite these shortcomings, the region continues to make significant progress as far as results are concerned. The region is rated amongst the top in the grade 12 ordinary level performance in the country and has also produced the best performing learner in the high level category, Renate Potkiter. The Irongo region achieved an overall rating of 52% last year and a similar result the previous year. Kaipa Kanji, NBC News, Swakopmund.